Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they rip. something? That would be Jarl Igmund, young for a ruler of a hole, especially the beach. Wasn't surprising he stayed loyal to the Empire. His father helped capture Ulfric Stormcloak after the Markarth incident. It's the whole reason Ulfric revolted against the Empire. Well, the first reason, anyway. Force One had taken over Markarth, and Ulfric and his men drove them out. Empire promised they'd be free to worship Talos afterward. Pity no one told the elves. Whole group of those Thalmor came, and they demanded Ulfric's arrest. Before the Nords came, we worshipped the old gods, had our own kingdom. Times have been good and bad since then, but some folks couldn't handle not ruling their own land. Those are the Forsworn. The Forsworn follow the old ways. Some of those were best forgotten. Blood sacrifices, communing with Daedra. It's the road to ruin. May the crags fail to trip your feet. Need a trained war dog? Fiercest companion money can buy. My family's been doing it for years. You need one out in the reach. Don't want to be alone when some forsworn comes swinging. I personally trained a whole litter for the Jarl. That reminds me, I was gonna deliver some dog food to the keep. Spiced beef, their favorite. Well, look at you. Thanks. Take it to Voada. She handles all the dogs for the Jarl. Don't fall. Until next time. How are the new breeds getting along with my dogs? What am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? What can I do for you? The stall, and that's final. You want to give up now? Don't Got try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. Mama, why are you and Papa? Ah, fighting? now that is a good question. We're not fighting. We're just. Where does Hogni get the finest, why freshest meat from all over to reach? The answer is simple. We'll Orcs. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a deer in seconds. Now having an orc for a wife would be something. Yes. Strong and bulky. Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. Let me show you where they are. Maybe they welcome you. Maybe they put an arrow in your face. Who knows? Do I look like a guide? Only thing I do is sell meat. Are you going to buy or not? Come back when you need more meat. Bring gold. Alms. I said alms, you backbiter! Give a cripple worker a helping hand. Finally. Now get lost. Red Guard craftsmanship in every Aye, a whole heap of it. You see that temple? Way up there? All them women keeping to themselves? Won't let poor Degane in, nope. Not even for a look. But they've got a treasure in there. Gold statue size of a child. Who knows what they use it for, but... I know what I'll use it for. Well, let's not put it like that. Wouldn't want the Thieves' Guild catching wind of us, eh? Nah, just creep in and have a go at taking it out. I'll be here and pay you half of what my man in Riften promised for it. You'll be helping out an old beggar and the divine smile on that sort of thing.
Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or a lover? My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Of course you do. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. You should see that orc over in Understand. You don't know Keith. anything about this Have house. Have you some new armor? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Strange lights or unusual noises? Cousins out fighting dragons, and what do I get? What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. Finally, someone with decent sense. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. Jarl Igmund can't ignore us for much longer. Not if the Silverblood family has a say. That's a true Nord hero. A legend. So great that the Divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens He founded the Empire, and now they've turned their back on him. To appease the Elves. <laughs> elves. Do the Elves rule Skyrim, or do the Nords? We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. Does the Jarl listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. They started the Great War, nearly destroyed the Imperial City. Then the Emperor took the coward's way out and surrendered. Now, the Elves dictate everything we do, and they don't want us acknowledging a mere human like Talos as the god he is. He used the Thum, shouted those four sworn from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city, just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Hrolden, reclaiming the reach from those heathen. Stay out of trouble in my city. You here to see the Yarl. No sudden moves, understand? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Lishuan Zell? The ruins underneath Markov? 
the wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now, you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? People seem to like that, I notice. Yes. Their history and culture is all around us in Margarth. A race of stonecutters, artisans, and engineers. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappeared. The whole people, all at once, leaving behind only their works. To protect my research, for one. There are more cutthroat scholars out there who would steal my findings if they got the chance. And the excavations into Nichuanzel are dangerous. Dwemer machines and traps still function, even after thousands of years. But, oh, goodbye. Silver Blood family will be heard. Don't mind the dogs, they get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Oh, thank you. The dogs were getting restless. Here, this is for you. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Before you say anything, no, I am not from the Reach. No. I'm a Breton from High Rock, and I refuse to be mistaken for a filthy native. I don't care if we share the same ancestors. These people are savages. Half of them are forsworn barbarians. And have you seen what they eat? What have I done for the gods to take me so far from my beloved Daggerfall? Yes, the finest court in all of High Rock. You think politics here are something? Well, we Bretons invented politics. That is where I learned to cook, and where I belong. Not here with all these dogs. Uh, until next time. <coughs> The Dominion is here. You have the honor of addressing a member of the Thalmor. Bask in it. We're the ruling body of the Old Mary Dominion. Saviors of Myrrh. Victors of the Great War. 
The Empire exists because we allow it to exist. And I'm here to make sure the Jarl of Markov remembers that. The Tholmor saved all of Elven kind during the Oblivion Crisis. We've been watching over our lands for 200 years. We refounded the Old Mary Dominion, an alliance between us and our Bosma cousins. You might know them from their common name, Wood Elves. We intend to prove the superiority of Mur over man, one century at a time. As if this craggy wretch of a city could give birth to a superiorly bred Mur such as myself. No, I'm not from Markarth. I was sent here to lead the Thalmor's interests in this corner of Skyrim. It's my mission to root out all Talos worship in this city. All right, the Thalmor know how to deal with Talos worship. It's a religious matter. The Thalmor do not recognize Talos as a god. He was only a man and does not deserve a place in our pantheon. The Empire has agreed to accept our beliefs and its citizens have a responsibility to cease their heretical worship. You're awfully inquisitive, aren't you? I like that. Perhaps you'd care to solve a little problem I'm having. Oldman the Scald. He's old, respected, and I know for a fact that he worships Talos in his home. But the Jarl has been hesitant to call for his arrest. I want you to break into his home and find evidence. Mm hmm. Robert can't stop. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Unlike my husband Klepper, I watch after our guests. My father Klepper is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Coming Got a witch hunter in town from the priesthood of Stendar. Keeps asking questions about that old abandoned house. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Are you going to walk over to Father and start hitting him again? No, not right now. Maybe later, if I'm still upset. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn god. Oh, it's you. The With one from the market. Power of the no. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. I've never even seen that man before. I don't know, it's my darling wife. I assume you're going to Not Skyrim's much. It's One not moment I was buying a necklace, and the, the rest the is just a blur. All, the the all right, then. Do the legend well, yet grows. Just... Show the bugs your adoring you'll face. Know, you'll and know. Scary I'm what you call a soldier of fortune. Come. Make me an offer. And I just might fight at your side. Why did I ever marry you? Watch your back, friend. When the day goes by, yet, I don't ask that they need to do it for you, my dear. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both?
I should remind Clepper to clean this place up. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. You should see that orc over in Understone Keep. Have him forge you some new armor. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Fresh meat for your stomach? Bloodiest beef in the reach. Hello, dear husband. Have you brought more silver jewelry for me? Is it? I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Best offense is a good defense, my right? Thalmor know how to deal with Talos worshippers. Ah, there we have it. This will be all I need to have Ogman taken care of. I would like to personally thank you on behalf of myself and the Thalmor for your assistance. Here, for your work. Until next time. Of course, the collapse of the Silverblood family will be heard. Old Warren City underneath the key. You! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Marvish? Very well. You may approach the mournful throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open if the floor stop bleeding because there's a wall out. Very well. I'll send the request for additional legionnaires to protect. You speak to Igmund, son of Orofdia, Jarl of Markarth. Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No honor, no loyalty, unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. We will see. I don't know you, and I don't sell what precious property we have to outsiders. But if you're willing to work, and you prove to be reliable, I might deem you worthy to live here. My steward will handle things from there. Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into, even from the skies. And everything is made of stone, even the beds. We'll have no trouble from Dragon's Fire here. It all started here, this rebellion. When the Empire lost the Reach during the Great War, we became desperate. We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the Hold. Then the Elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks, and where this war really started. My guards told me, poor Margaret, 
and witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a false one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles, but there are no false one in this city. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. The White Gold Concordant, our treaty with the Elves after the Great War, forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the Elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. The choice was clear, and now Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. When the Aldmeri Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the Reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising, but the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They fled into the hills and became the Forsworn. I want no mercy for those Forsworn, understand? I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. I have letters to read. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. The silver blood. What is this? Uh, a nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we will call it pieces. Look how brittle the metal is. I, I'm sorry. I just, well, the forge gets so hot in the front. You thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Jesus. Now do it again. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help him with when will I learn how to forge weapons on? Isn't that my job? Your job is to do what I said. I say you have many nails to fix before you. Now get to work. Gorzak is the one you should ask if you need it. Need a new blade? Tacitus? Boys and Imperial. I keep showing how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Aquas, would you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Thanks. Grew up in a stronghold. Every orc girl tended the forge at some point. Girl has to grow up, and life in the stronghold asks for a lot in return. So I joined the Legion, mastered my trade. Got an axe here, good for cleaving up Forsworn. That's right, an orc stronghold, kept to ourselves, lived as our ancestors would have wanted. Wasn't enough for me, though. I left. Didn't want to end up as the third wife of some lowly chieftain. Mm -hmm. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help him with the forge.
You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? You hard of hearing. I run this smelter, and I'm late meeting our silver quota. What do you want? What? No. Thonar Silverblood owns it. He owns everything in Markarth. But he hands all the paperwork over to Nepos, the nose, to finish. That old man's back is heavy with burden. Every other day, seems one of the laborers runs off to the hill saying he'll join the Forsworn. You don't like the Nords? Fine. But pledging your whole life to killing them, that's just dumb. <clears throat> Can't talk. Mullish will beat me if I stop working. He's a damn tyrant, always being goaded by the Silverbloods to get more work out of us. They pay us next to nothing. We get beaten if we make a mistake. And where are our kind Nord rulers? What are they doing? You're gonna try to talk sense into that orc? I'll believe it when I see it. Me and Hathrasil mostly. Mullish barks at us all day, but I wouldn't call that honest work. A few people in the Warrens used to work here. Degain broke some bones a while back. Altris quit. Kareen is too sick. We've lost a lot of good people to that damn crusade. Drive out the Nords, they say. Well, the Nord ain't driven out. Mm hmm Let me guess. You need a drink. Sip a daddy. Like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. Can I help you? I oversee Markarth Smelter. Worker gets out of line, I get him back in line. What? Are you telling me how to treat my workers? Do you have any idea how much metal the Silver Blood family wants us to smelt? All right, all right. You sound like a damn Legion officer, but I get it. I'll give him a break. This better not hurt our quota. All right, then. Is that fur? Coming out of the ears. Isn't that my job? Your job is to do what I say. And I say you have many nails. Business to college majors having a place like Sarthorn, anyway. It's a place for more death. Don't mind the yelling. 
My parents are always going at each other. Plenty of strong this drink a and of clean rooms. Drinks here are watered down, but they're cheap. <laughs> I don't believe it. Someone sticking up for us? Here, it's a week's wages for me, but you've earned every coin. Another drink, Koznak. All right, then. I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. All your drinks are watered down. Um, and you know Lisbeth can't afford to pay me. It's an end to the anyhow. evil of all I wasn't Skyrim's aware that Lisbeth was having trouble with Cosnac. Unlike my husband, I was after our guest. For the dark. Good to see you again, friend. Now, Being here's a, a princess is great. I get to swing a hammer at things. 